play is probably some of the most mind-boggling swift play I have ever seen. His Yukiko does not rest. His Yukiko yeah. is constantly making action happen, and especially in a matchup like Aegis, yeah. you need to make ha action happen. You need to take control of the situation with Yukiko, otherwise Aegis can kind of rush you down, and all of a sudden you're in that yeah. uh, rush down from Aegis. It's bad times. Stunage's play is reminiscent of a Chris G zoning game, but it's, it's, a, uh, it's a little bit more defensive than that. And it, there's no assist to back it up. You're yeah. controlling all the space yourself. Yeah, no, he's not He's not playing like an utterly lame game where he's right. kind of just like, oh, I'm just going to throw fans at you, I'm just going to throw fire at you. you know. He knows when to go from, I'm going to play lame to try to frustrate mm -hmm. you coming in, and then he's going to turn it on and rush he you snaps. down. Yeah, and he's yeah. going to get you pressured, cause you to make mistakes, and take it away from you. He's got that Bruce Lee kind of feeling. He's, <laughs> he's, he's playing like water. He's willing to play defense, play lame, but as soon as he's at the opening, he snaps, goes right in. And his mix-ups are incredibly strong with Yukiko. Easily the best Yukiko in the world, in my opinion. And we're talking about Stun Edge and how incredible he is, but Yume is also pro debatably one of the best players for Persona in the world. Pro like, easy top three. Yeah. Easy top three players. Yeah, it's very easy to play some top three. So yeah, this so is some of the best. Yeah, this is going to be incredibly sick. So, for uh, those who are not aware of the uh, bracket situation in Loser as well, we got Breaker Dave, got Domi. Breaker Dave just upset a number of Japanese players. Oh, yeah. Breaker Dave almost qualified in a winner's top eight. It was a really close match between him and Yume. Yeah. Um, also, we have Banana Ken, who got that nice little feature in the uh, end of the intro. And, and he actually just beat the what is considered to be one of the best Japanese Shadow Labrises in the mirror match. In the mirror match, and he looked absolutely in control, absolutely yeah, dominant. Very dominant. And the last we got Spark. So we got a very solid top eight. I'm so excited. <laughs> this, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, so. Stun Edge. So if Stun Edge can time it well, if he sees Yume going about to 2B, he can roll it, try to get punished, try to get pressure, otherwise, very hard projectile game for Sun Edge. He's probably going to have to rush it down more than he would normally. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think Yukiko does have a number of options to control the matchup in a lot of ways that many characters don't. But it is still, I guess, and, and if you... Uh, this might be a button check. Yeah, no, uh, definitely a button check. So, the, the, way, the way that Yukiko can control the space is by, by throwing enough fire to prevent Aegis from easily activating Orgia or easily approaching with Orgia. Yeah. A lot of characters don't have a safe option for that. Yeah, no, Yukiko definitely relies on her Meragi, which is the pillar flame That's to right. kind of control spacing. And then also it eats up all the bullets, so a 2B from Aegis will be destroyed by a Meragi dying. Yeah, right. We'll have to see how the round starts. All yeah, right. Start open today. That's right. Yeah, all right. Trying to feel out that 2B. All right. We got Orgia. Uh, uh, Sunday just looked for the anti there, but the jump C is just so imposing for Yume. He was not able to anti -air. All right. Interesting. Yume goes out of Orgia. All I right. Like that. See, Yukiko is so weak on defense. He just decided it was worth it to just go back to normal oh. and get the Orgia back. You have to watch Aegis' Orgia at every moment in this matchup. It's that red bar above the meter. That is the most important thing to watch in the Aegis matchup. Now he's just trying to kill time on that Orgia. All right, that's right. Oh, that's Ro. It's going to be bad time. Cool. She can only confirm that in Orgia, too, so it's very lucky for Yume. That, that, I, and of course, I'm sure that affected his decision, but it was, it was very fortunate for Yume that he was actually in Orgia when he got that counter hit air grab. Yep, Yume looking incredibly strong in his very first round, showing just how much problem this matchup can give to Yukiko. All right, nice. He's gonna carry to the corner. Mix up. All right, good block. Nice DP. Nice instant block DP. All right, back to the stock. All right, look at this pressure. Look at this pressure. Uh, Amazing patience by yeah. Yume. <laughs> yeah, no, staying calm. Great defensive option. Face the stun edge pressure. Gets out. All right, there's, there's that Miragi I was talking wow. about. Oh, gets Yumi, the call the back dash. Very difficult to stop Aegis' Orkia backdash. It's one of the only very functional backdashes in Ooh. this game. Yeah, no, it's very quick. Takes your airborne, too. Alright. Great spatial control by Stun Edge. Getting a lot of counter hits, but needs to make something happen. Oh my god. Oh, nice block by Yume. You can see, though, Stun Edge is setting up those uh, 5Ds pressure, the jump D pressure. A lot of the Persona just keeps reappearing exactly where he needs it. Faked a high there. That could have been air dash high or MP low. Oh, there's nice. the air dash high. That's exactly what I'm talking about. 
gonna super. Yes. Uh, what a majestic round by Stunnish. So very strong. Excellent play. After getting pretty much destroyed that first round, uh, ran it back. It's such an erratic matchup for you to know. Basically, in every match in the game, she either controls the pace and can keep it stable, or she gets crushed sometimes. And her, and right now, he's in a bad situation, but great block on that cross up. But look at this pressure by Yume. Just kind of hold him in the corner. Or, yeah, here exactly. we go. It's not so much a mix up until he activates her again. He's just stalling to build it back. Yeah, he's just stalling pressure. Oh, bad burst. Tragic burst by Stunnish. Absolutely gonna die for that. Yeah, it's hard because a lot of her options kind of options like the burst by default. You don't actually have to hard bait it. The, yeah. the character will just bait it on its own. Yeah, you can do the combos, and when she's uh, doing doing the fire, um, what is the name of the move? Are you talking about the fire wheel? Yeah, fire wheel. Okay. Yeah, no, that move. Like when she's doing that, it's like if you try to burst during that, nope, have fun. Yeah, <laughs> then there's a lot of spots in her combos that will, will just absolutely eat your burst alive. You have to pick your burst spots very carefully against Igus. Sometimes it's worth it to burst in a way that just forces her gear to drain. Yeah, and e even if it wasn't necessarily a hit, you would burst Ooh. another matchup. That was so smart with the fire. Yeah, he did Muragi, but still had an Agi stored up, but now he's getting knocked around. Oh, next pressure. You could go can store those fireballs on the screen and explode them whenever she wants to. So he held it just long enough to pull the counter hit out of Yume. Yeah, as long as she doesn't get put in box done, she can hold it down and let it go whenever she wants. Oh, uh, jump C is just too much for that fan. Yeah. Once again, Stunnage tried to anti-air that. It's just Yume's jump C is a little bit too dangerous. Yeah, no. You can go to anti-air options really close are very much not that strong. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that mix up. Nice block. Look at Yume's oh. blocking. Wow, really? One more burst? Oh, uh, it's it. That's heartbreaking. All right, good DP. The one more burst uses your entire burst gate. It's an offensive way to use your burst. Nice DP again by Sun Edge. DP? Uh, shoot it. That won't work. He was expecting it to be blocked. Yep. And he oh has overheated. God. Unfortunately for Stun Edge, he doesn't get an opportunity to, to capitalize on it. The, the overheated Orgia means Igus is a worthless character until it gets back to red. Yeah, normally with her Orgia mode, she can go out of Orgia and then rechange, uh, recharge the meter. Oh my god, look at that mix up. So much. But when she's heated up, that meter recharges really slow, yeah. and she can't go into Orgia mode. That's right. Uh, nice anti-air. Wow, that 2A anti-air. This is really important. He needed that corner. You can go as pressure and oh. mix up in the corner. So much higher reward. All right, you gotta go for burst early. I know. Keep the stage. Oh, wow! Wow! That's that such a smart choice because the cannon stays active long enough, even through the burst, he's still gonna get the final hit. Wow, that was such an amazing play from Yume. Easily again one of the top three <laughs> players in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's that was amazing. So we got winner's final already set. It's gonna be. Lord Knight versus Yume. That's gonna be that's sick. That's such a sick set. No, that's gonna be losers. I think we have Breaker Dave and. All right. Up next again, we mentioned what we had in losers. In losers, we had Breaker Dave. We had uh, Dolmi. Spark is on the other side. Spark. And okay. And so Banana Ken. I see. All right. So create the future of fighting games. The NYU Game Center has partnered with the EVO Tournament to create a scholarship to study game design at a New York University. If you have a passion for fighting games and want to join the next generation of great game designers, you can find more information about the program, the application instructions, at our website, gamecenter.nyu.edu. It's NYU Game Center. Check it out at New York.